What's going on everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. Wheels and tires are finally here and I did a little something different with the lift. I was going to do just the two inch level, uh, which I still kind of am, but a little bit of an upgrade. So what we ended up going with is the 2.75 inch Rancho quick lift. And I also ordered a ready lift, uh, it's a SST lift, so it's gonna have the upper control arms and the blocks for the rear. Basically, I'm just gonna use the upper control arms and the blocks for the rear, and I'm not going to use the blocks or the preload spacers because I got new struts. So, uh, wheels and tires are here. So let me turn around and show you guys those, and then we're gonna get started on this install. So wheels and tires. These are the hostile sprockets. And like I said, I ended up going with the Venom Power Terra Hunter XTs. And then here's one of the struts. So these are the Rancho quick lift struts. This is the right side and the other one's still in the box. So we're gonna get this thing jacked up here and uh, just gonna do a time lapse of this install real quick and hopefully it doesn't take me too long. Then we'll take this thing for a cruise, go get it washed and cleaned up and uh, who knows, maybe I'll shoot like a cool little B-roll of, uh, of the truck after it's done. Let's go. All right guys, so fast forward a little bit. Here's where I'm at. So on my last truck, there was a bolt that ran through the bottom of the strut to hold it in place. So it was a lot easier to get this strut out. So I got the bolts off the bottom here and I got the nut bolts up here loosened up, but I need to get this sway bar link off so that the bottom of the A-arm will drop enough for me to get these bolts loose or these nuts gosh dang it can't talk get these bolts out of the bottom of the strut um, having a hell of a time because I can't get a good bite on this sway bar link so I ran to Harbor Freight and got a pair of needle nose vice grips and I'm gonna try and bite on the bottom of here and uh, get this thing loosened up so I'll keep you posted all right, update. Finally got this sway bar link bolt off. I figured out what happened. I'm assuming maybe somebody had replaced it and they just destroyed the threads, put it on. So I'm actually going to pick up a new sway bar link and replace that because the nut is toast. But I had to take the tie rod end off and uh, I still don't have quite enough clay to get this off. So I'm going to try taking the bolts off of the strut and see if I can get it to drop out from that direction. Worst case, I'm going to have to take the brake caliper, take the nut off here for the wheel bearing so I can take the CV axle out. I really don't want to have to do that just to change the strut, but we'll see. All right, so several hours later, we finally have the Rancho quick lift strut in. Bolted down on the bottom here. There's gonna be a crazy angle on this upper ball joint until I get the new upper control arms, which should be here early next week. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a wheel on here. And see what it looks like. All right guys, so fast forward to the next day. We are now working on the passenger side. Everything came apart a lot easier. Um, I kind of figured out my order of operations. You know, this isn't a tutorial, so I apologize that I'm not doing or showing you every step, but there's plenty of videos on how to do this stuff online. I just wanted to document the journey, so to speak. So, shitty thing, um, these Rancho Quick Lift struts, the one box was all banged up from FedEx and it didn't have any of the hardware with it. So I had to go to the hardware store this morning and buy a bunch of bolts and nuts because they had all fallen out in transit but we're almost done here just got to put everything back together and get this dust off the CV axle because uh, you don't want dirt in there grinding around and then put everything back together and we'll be ready to rock well she needs a bath but here's the finished product The uh, 
uh, spiked lug nuts are looking pretty sweet. Well guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you guys stick around for some new videos. Uh, like I said, new channel, new truck. Gonna be doing lots of cool things to this truck and uh, excited to take you along on the journey. So if you're new around here, please subscribe. Click that like button, click that notification bell so you get notifications of my upcoming videos. I'll catch up to you in the next one.